Progressive web apps or PWAs are a type of website that function like mobile apps. Unlike native apps, websites do not have access to device features such as push notifications, cameras or offline capabilities by default. This lack of access can limit what a web developer can build. Luckily, PWAs can fix this issue by enabling device features in the same web codebase. One of the benefits of turning your website into a PWA is the possibility for users to download the application directly from your website, eliminating the need to download it from an app store. This is not only better for the user as they can download directly from the source, but also for the developer since they don't have to give a cut of their revenue to the app stores. Moreover, the installation process for the user is very simple. With just one click, the PWA is added to the machine's apps and instantly installed. To build a PWA, you need to meet four requirements. The first one is to have multiple logo files with different sizes. The second one is to ensure that your application runs on HTTPS for secure connections or on localhost for development purposes. The third requirement is to have a manifest.json file. This file will contain all the metadata of your application required to run on multiple devices. Lastly, you will need a service worker. If you need a refresher on what a service worker is, you can check out my web workers video. While they are not the same, they share the basic core concepts, so go check it out. A service worker will allow your application to run services in the background, such as caching content locally, so that the app can be accessed even without an internet connection. To create a PWA, start by creating a basic HTML template. Now insert the viewport meta tag, description and theme color. While these are not mandatory, they are good practices for PWAs. Add an optional link for your styles and a mandatory one for your manifest folder. Finally, add a simple header and a script tag for your main JavaScript file. Your manifest file will have a name and a short name for your application, a start URL, a background and theme color, a display which is typically of type standalone, and the icons array where you can add the logo files. To create the multiple files needed for your logo, you can go to pwabuilder.com forward slash image generator. Simply upload your logo and click on generate. This will create and download three folders in one file. The folders Android, iOS and Windows 11 will contain the logo files with the corresponding sizes. Go ahead and copy them to your project folder. Inside the downloaded folder, there is an icons.json file. Copy the array inside to your manifest file to reference all of the different logo sizes. Now create your main JavaScript file and check if the browser supports service workers by verifying if service worker is in the navigator object. If it does, then register your service worker file and simply log a successful registration or a caught error. Finally, create your service worker JavaScript file and add two event listeners. One for the installation, which will be triggered once on the first page load, and another for the fetch event, which will be triggered every time a network request is made. The goal of our service worker is to enable our application to work offline. To do that, once the application is installed, we will instruct the event to wait until we create our cache. Create the cache by opening it with the name of your choice and then simply add all the resources that you need to be cached, such as your HTML and JavaScript files. Now, every time the client triggers a network request, we'll ask for the event to respond with either the cached resource or the fetched response. We can do that by matching the cache with the request name. If there is a response, then there is a cache data for that request, so we simply return it. Otherwise, we fetch the request and return that. If we serve our application and go to the Networks tab, we can simulate the offline experience by clicking on the No Throttling dropdown and choosing Offline. After refreshing the page, we can see that the application still works and the request is being fetched by the service worker. If we did not use the cache, the application would not show up if offline on page reload. You can also check your service worker as well as your manifest by going to the Application tab. If you go to the Lighthouse tab and analyze the page with the Progressive Web App on, you can see in the PWA section that the application is now installable. To install your PWA, click on the Install button at the top of the Chrome browser. Now you have your web application running as a native application. You can even open it from the operating system as you would with any other app. Now you can easily create an application supported by multiple platforms using only one codebase. Not only that, but you might even save some money by letting your users install your application directly from your website instead of sharing your revenue if it were in an app store. I hope you guys liked it and if so, hit like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers!